A warm greetings to all. Hi, this is Akshay from Naresh IT and today we are going to discuss about one problems which is on the basic of ages. My dear student, problems on ages is a really simple chapter and in this we are going to discuss about problems on ages. Now let us see what is that problem. The sum of the present ages of a father and his son is 60 years. Five years ago, father's age was four times the age of his son. Now, so now, sum, now son's age will be. This is what the question they have asked to us. Now, let us see how to find this question. It's really simple. My dear student, you might have learnt in your schooling days how to form an equation whenever the sentences are given in front of you. The very basic way to find out answer of such kind of questions, we need to think one thing, we need to keep one thing in our mind that we need to break the question first of all and then we have to solve it. Break the question and then solve it. Let us see how. The sum of the present age of father and his son is 60 years. As we read the first sentence, as we read up to here, the first sentence, the sum of present ages of father and his son is 60 years. Let us consider present age of father is F, present age of son is S. Okay. Now, this, these are what present ages. The sum of father and sum, so the sum of father's age and son's age is what? 60 years. As it is given in the question. Five years ago, father's age was four times the age of his son. Now we are concentrating on the second sentence of the question. Five years ago, that means this is what present age. F, present age of son is S, is equal to sum 60, first equation, second equation. I am just giving the name it as equation number 1. My dear student, what they are saying, five years ago, father's age was four times the age of his son. Five years ago, that means f minus, f minus five, s minus five. Five years ago, the age of father was, the age of father was four times the age of his son. Age of father was four times the age of his son. That means f minus 5 is equal to 4 into s minus 5. Now, if we will be further solving this, then we will get to know that f minus 5 is equal to 4s minus 4 fives are 20. Now, the next step will be f minus 4s is equal to minus 20 plus 5. My dear student, we are having right now two relationship. This and this. Can we use this relationship in this equation? Yes, of course we can use. But in which way? As we know that f plus s is equal to 60 years. Can I say something like that? f will be f will be 60 minus s. Yes. I have represented the I have represented the age of father in terms of 60 minus s. Now let us see, we have to use this f is equal to 60 minus s in this equation. So how it would be? It would be 60 minus s minus 4 s is equal to minus 20 plus 5. Minus plus is always minus, but the sign of negative answer we have to write. 20 minus 5 will be 15. Now, we are solving this 60 minus s minus 4s this is what 60 we are having s minus 4s minus minus will be always plus so it would be 60 minus minus s minus 4s that means minus 5s is equals to minus 15 we will be having okay now if we will be solving this then we will get to know that this is 60 plus 15. This minus I am converting this side. And this is what 5s. This minus after this side will be converting sign. So this is what 75 is equals to 5s. Now s what we have considered present age of sun. So here s will be equals to 75 divided by 5. 5 ones are 5. 5 15s are 75, 15 fives are 75. So age of sun we are getting, age of sun is what? 15 years. 
So this is what the simple explanation of the question which is on the basic of ages, problems on ages. I am repeating this question once again. The sum of the present ages of father and his son is 60 years. 5 years ago, father's age was 4 times the age of his son. So now, sum, now son's age will be. This is what we have to find out the present age of son. What we basically have considered? Basically, we have considered father's age is F, son is it's S. Sum of the present ages of father and son is 16 years. F plus S, 16 years. Second, 5 years ago, the father's age was 4 times the age of his son. So that's what F minus 5 is equals to 4 times the age of son. Why we have done subtraction? Because it's a 5 years ago. Ago means previous. So that what's F minus 5 is equals to 4S minus 20. After multiplying this 4 with this bracket, we'll get 4S minus 20. Then we have reached towards this relationship. Like F minus 4S is equals to minus 20 plus 5. This, mi this minus 5 will be going toward this side, will be shifting. So, this sign will be changing, plus 5. My dear student, we were having one relationship as the, our first relationship, 60. So, we have represented F in terms of 60 minus S. And we are using the value of F, 60 minus S in this equation. Now, 60 minus S minus this 4S will be equal to minus 20 plus 5 will be minus 15. Now later, this is what we have solved this procedure, 60 minus 5 s equals to minus 15. We are getting these things. Why? Because this minus s minus 4 s minus minus will be plus and sign of negative integer we used to put here. So that is what minus 5 s, 60 minus 5 s which is equals to minus 15. Now here, this is what 60 plus 15, this minus will be coming toward this side, 60 plus 15 is equals to 5s, 75 here and this is what 5s would be here. So, s we will be getting 5 15s are. So, what is age of sun at last we are getting 15 years. So, this was a basic simple problem. My dear student, one thing I would like to tell you from this video, if you know the equation form, if you know the formation of equation from given sentences, then you can deal with this chapter very easy manner. So basically what you have to learn, you have to learn thing how to form an equation from a given sentences within a question. Thank you for watching this video under Naresh IT. Thank you.